Hi everyone, in today's video I've got another old build from last year. Uh, this build is for the Herbert Abadurp Discard Second Derptopia Group build. So for those who don't know who Herbert Abadurp is, he's a YouTuber who I follow who builds mostly World War II armoured vehicles, although he does build a lot of other things. And he has his own little discard group, and on the discard group they usually run a regular group build, which mostly focuses on armoured fighting vehicles, but they do do a lot of different things. Uh, one of them is to build for the Derptopian army. Uh, now usually for the Derptopian army this could be something very simple from a regular old tank just painted in a very bright camo pattern to something that's bizarre that maybe you know like a, a weird prototype from World War II or just something of your own construction. Um, the usually the more insane the better um, because again it's just it's just, just an excuse to build some kind of crazy tank of some kind or armoured vehicle. So the only rule for this one this time is we have to use some kind of similar camera pattern to this one and from what I remember this was pretty much the only rule. Um, so for this I decided to use a Matchbox SP gun which I had from my Gaslands collection. So the original plan was to fix the bent gun and add some replacement tracks to this and then hit it with the camo pattern and then whatever else I could think of whilst I was building it. So since this is an old build, there's no actual build footage, so I'm just going to go through a quick slideshow and give a quick explanation of what I did do. So first I started by adding this exploding ram from the auto kill red steel sprue. Well, on this I was going to add the tracks that I ordered for it. Um, I bought some replacement tracks off eBay, but unfortunately they turned out to be the wrong size and I didn't really have the time to order some more plus the first bunch were not cheap either I just didn't want to waste money trying to guess which ones were going to be the right ones so in the end I just decided to convert it into a wheel vehicle for this I just took some wheels from uh, a bunch of cars that had turned into scenery and then just used some, some styrene tubing to make the axles I glued those to the bottom it was just a simple fix so that it went from a track vehicle to I think it's a LRV um, I might be getting that wrong I'm not a military expert on I'm not an expert in military vehicles, so I'm probably getting that wrong. So after this, I decided to add some side pipes, which are from the Auto Kill pipe sprue, and then placed them over the I think they were exhaust vents at the back of the tank here. So moving on to the gun, I did try and heat it up and bend it back into shape, but it was just not really working. So in the end, I just cut it off and then used some styrene tube and just basically glued the ends of the gun into that, and then added piece of square st styrene tube as a muscle break. Next I decided to have a crewman uh, being inspired by that old 40k meme with the space marine leaning out the tank saying move forward I want to hit them with my sword so I kind of did the same thing I took a I took a figure from the Dark Alliance 172 skill anti-zombie survivors pack um, cut him in half and placed him over the existing over the existing tank hatch. Um, after this I took the tank after this I took a tank hatch ring from the North Star military figures gas lance implement of Carnage Sprue and then just to add a tank hatch I just took a drawing pin, removed the pin and then attached that to the other end of the tank hatch ring and finally I did this giant spoiler on the back which I just scratch built from some styrene sheets and some square styrene rod and here we are with the finished build. Um, I forgot to mention that I did actually take some more drawing pins, cut the pins off and then glue them over the wheels to look like armoured like armored hubcaps. So when I came up with the idea of building this thing I was trying to build something suited to uh, Herbert Herbert's style of playing World of War, um, playing of World of Tanks because he usually likes to race around doing jumps and getting ram kills so I thought I'd make the perfect vehicle to do all that. So he's got the exploding plow at the front, the spoiler for this give them some extra traction get some more speed up and then obviously I just added the 40k kind of reference I don't think he plays 40k and I don't think he's built many 40k kits but it was just something that popped in the head when I was building this thing so one of the problems I had for this build is because the camo had to be painted pink um, and I use Ravel colours which are very thin like with their light colours which their light colours are very thin I had to apply several coats to get a solid consistent colour and as such it kind of looks like I have 
as such the laser paint have just built up and it's kind of ruined the model a bit because it looks like I've just slapped a lot of paint on this without really thinning them. Um, unfortunately it's just one of those things. So funny enough I had the same problem with last year's Derp Topia group build. Um, again I think it's just a case of trying to rush through and get this thing done on time. Um, fortunately though, I did, but this time I did actually get this one finished on time so that's a bonus although I just took forever to make the video. Like usual there will be a nice little slideshow, the glamour shots at the end as well as some photos of my previous entry. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.